Ropes Organization Walcott Foundation Indian Trust Special Coaching to 8th, 9th and 10th Classes Digital Virtual Learning Bingaru Palim Palmini Rugangava Rampeda Apanjani by Red Deepuli Mando. Chairman Dhan Sekaran. Director Drive Shri Lata. Hi, hello, welcome to Ropes Organization. This is uh, Durga Prasad Reddy teaching biology. So in this video, we are discussing about ninth class chapter tissue. So part five, previous class, we are discussing about the plant tissue and there are uh, different types of uh, simple tissue and meristematic tissue. So let us continue the topic of uh, uh, another type is a uh, complex uh, permanent tissue. So permanent tissue, there is a uh, different types. So that is the one of the type of complex permanent tissue. In this class, we are discuss about this complex permanent tissue. So what is the topic name? Complex permanent tissue. So what is mean by complex permanent tissue? What is the importance of complex permanent tissue? Can you see here there are different types of complex tissues. So can you see the observe the diagram? So this is complex tissue. So this is called complex tissue. So there are some parts are there. Can you observe here? So the, the middle line of the stem so, if you stem plate, you can see this part of the stem plate. That is called sieve plate. So, this is plate. Next plate is sieve tube. So, here is the white part. So, this white part is the same as the sieve tube. So, this is sieve tube, sieve plate. Next stretch is the same as there is two parts, xylem and phloem. Can you see here the outermost layer between space that that is called phloem. So, what name is the phloem parenchyma? So, that is specific name is the phloem parenchyma. So, in the inner spaces, what name is the inner spaces? What name is the componian cells? Campanian or componian cells. So, this is the structure and section of phloem. So, phloem is the section of the phloem. The parts of the sieve plate, sieve tube, phloem, Parenchyma, next to companion cells. So these are the parts of especially section of phloem. So phloem make a section lo manaki unna 20 V. So next which is ki, types of complex tissue. So types of complex tissue. So types of complex tissue which is ki, I mean this is the complex tissues lo uh, phloem guri chaman discuss chesko abotuna. So complex permanent tissue. So the different types of tissues we have discussed until now are all made of one type of cells. So, already we discussed this. So, here we have 20 different types of tissues. So, especially we have discussed this. Until now, we have also discussed in the previous class the different type of protective tissue and different types of permanent tissues. So, these type of tissues are made from only single cell. So, even if you have a single tissue, you can develop it. Single cells can develop it. So, we name and please come and tell us about the development of simple permanent tissue. So, all the development of 20 tissues need simple tissues and please come yet another type of permanent tissue. So, already we have simple permanent tissue which we discussed in the next one. The second one is the complex permanent tissue. So, that is we are discussing about that complex tissues. So, like about the complex tissue. Complex tissues are made of more than one type of cells. And the complex key simple key one at 20 variations in the end day simple tissues and knee kuda so the simple tissues are made from one a single cell simple tissues and knee kuda yala air padu nta yi yala double up by unta yi ok ok kanamu to nirmitama yi unta yi but it is not the same thing in complex permanent tissue what is the means complex tissues made of a more than one so one kante kuda ekku unnali more than one one kante ekku unnachu leda two cells unnachu three cells or four and more than enna ina unnachu so ekku kanala to nirmitam ayina twenty so what name an pilistam ante complex tissue antam so all these cells coordinate to perform a common function so ikkada develop ayina twenty complex tissues anni kuda enti reason ante all these cells coordinate to perform a common function if anni kuda oka oka function me the depend आई वर्क होता हूँ दी, सो आलरेडी ने नो टिश्यू से पेट अपन स्टार्टिंग लोग का एग्जांपल जब पे ना अमीबा, सो अमीबा इज अ सिंगल सेल आर्गनिज्म, बिकॉज़ दिस आर्गनिज्म अमीबा वो कार्गनिज्म, दांत लो फूड प्रोसेस जरूरत हूँ दी, एक्सक्रीशन प्रोसेस जरूरत हूँ दी, ट्रांसपोर्टेशन जरूरत हूँ Okay, okay, cell control लो उन्तुं दी, सो दैट इज अ सिंगल सेल आर्गनिज्म, द सिंगल सेल कैन 
so mandatory and modify to different functions okay cell lo entante different functions work outai so ala work aithe dani single cell organism antam at also then also we are discuss about the uh, multicellular organism so multicellular organism lo kuda already manam discuss cheskuna entante okokka function kosam konni kanalu ledha konni tissues anni kuda entante different function kosam maatrame specialized ga design cheyabadi untayi so alage entante complex tissue lo koche sariki so these cells are more than one one kante ekku unnatundi tissues cells anni kuda oke oka function kosam undavu there are coordinated by one specific function so ivanni kuda entante perform to a common function common function kosam develop ayi untayi so xylem and phloem so xylem and phloem are examples for such a complex tissue so complex tissue ki manam example ga denni teesukovachante xylem and phloem so xylem and phloem tissues are the example of complex permanent tissue so ikkada entante ee cells anni to group of cells ga form ayi phloem and xylem develop ayyi but in it yokka function enti ante there is only the function of transportation so ivi rendu veru veru ainappadiki different cells ainappadiki there is a సేమ్ ఫంక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ సో వీటి యొక్క ఫంక్షన్ ఏంటి అంటే ఒకే ఒక ఫంక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ లేదా దాన్ని రవాణా అని పిలుస్తాం సో కాంప్లెక్స్ టిష్యూస్ లో కాంప్లెక్స్ పర్మనెంట్ టిష్యూ దేర్ ఆర్ ఫార్మడ్ బై మెనీ సెల్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ జైలం టిష్యూస్ అండ్ ఫ్లోయం టిష్యూస్ దీస్ జైలం అండ్ ఫ్లోయం టిష్యూస్ ఆర్ ఫార్మడ్ బై డిఫరెంట్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ సెల్స్ సో బట్ దేర్ ఈస్ ద సేమ్ ఫంక్షన్ థింగ్ వన్ ఈస్ దట్ ఈస్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ అంటే ఇక్కడ ఏర్పడినటువంటి వేరు వేరు కణాలు ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో దారు కణజాలం మరియు పోషక కణజాలం రెండు కూడా వేరు వేరు కణాల నుంచి ఏర్పడినప్పటికీ దీని యొక్క ఫంక్షన్ ఒకటే ఒకటి ఉంటుంది సో ఆ ఫంక్షన్ ని మనం ఏమని పిలుస్తున్నాం అంటే ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ లేదా రవాణా అని పిలుస్తున్నాం సో బట్ ఫంక్షన్స్ డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్గా ఉన్నాయి సో జైలం ఏం చేస్తుంది వాటర్ ని ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ చేస్తుంది ద మెయిన్ ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ జైలం కెన్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ ద వాటర్ మాలిక్యూల్ న్యూట్రియన్స్ అండ్ డైడ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కాల్ ద ఇన్ఆర్గానిక్ సాల్ట్స్ దెన్ ద ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లోయం సో ఫ్లోయం కెన్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ ద ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ materials which is prepared by photosynthesis process so ikkada daru kanajalam mariyu poshaka kanajalam rendu kuda so oke oka function meeda work avutayi so vaatine manam em anipistunnam ante transportation so this is the main important thing of complex permanent tissue so then last point there are both conducting tissues and constitute a vascular bundle vascular tissue so this xylem tissues and phloem tissues the both are present in a vascular bundle so vascular bundle have uh, three parts are there one is the xylem another one is phloem so the both are separated by one thing that is called cambium so rendidiki madhyalo entante oka layer untundi dani cambium ani pilustam lekapothe dani vibhajaka kanajavali ani pilustam idu em chestundante xylem tissues ni phloem tissues ni rendu veru veru chestundi so ee moodu kuda endulo untayi ante vascular tissues lo untayi so this is the topic of in this video we are discussing about the complex permanent tissue so this is complex permanent tissue if you have any doubts so please uh, comment on your comment box thank you please watch this video